On this fine Tuesday, I appear to be feeling some exceptional rider pride. Go riders! for the day. I don't know that everybody wants to be famous, but I think everybody wants to be significant. And I think that that's a good thing. That sometimes in our society we say things like humility is like, you know, like almost putting yourself down or not being recognized for your accomplishments. But I think humility is simply the right awareness of who you are. And humility is not thinking that anything that you do makes yourself better than anybody. But I don't think there's anything wrong with being recognized for the gifts and talents that you have and when you go and execute on them. And I think that's really important is to know that you're actually made for significance and it's not wrong to want significance. And that doesn't make you insecure or something wrong with you. That's like who we're meant to be. We're meant to be significant people. And it's okay to be recognized, you know, that if you are working hard and good things are happening, great. Now, there's also times where you're going to work hard and you're not going to see the fruit of it for a while. And that's also okay. But inside you need to know, this is what I was meant to do. And even if you make mistakes or fail or have issues, that's fine. Because those failures and those mistakes are simply a part of the journey and they're going to happen. So that's okay. But you're made for significance. Not everybody's meant to be famous. We can't all be famous. There's not enough room for that, but everybody's made to be significant. Honestly, my favorite thing every morning is getting on my laptop and responding to comments on Facebook and YouTube. Typically because I post the vlogs the night before and then they collect comments. And but if you don't know, I love comments. They keep me going. So if you ever like just want to leave a comment about anything, question, comment, encouragement, your thought, your take on something, I love that keeps the vlog going, okay? So if you want to do your part to keep the vlog going, comment, like, and subscribe. Hmm. I love having a place where you can just camp for hours. I love having a place where you can just camp for hours. I should have warned you first. I don't warn people when it's like, oh yeah, just so you know, I'm not going to be talking to you. I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> this is Jason. He's been camping at my table with me all day. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Bye, Jason. Until next time. Thanks, you guys. See you. Have a great day. It's actually breezy, but very nice out. It's like 10 or 11 degrees. Sunshine. We should uh, find a way to take advantage. Actually, it's been a little bit too long since we've been to the photo store, so let's go to the photo store. Give me a sexy face. <laughs>
now since my company started. And one of the things that I'm finding out is the parts of projects that I love to do and the parts of projects that I don't love to do. And the thing is, is when you have lots of pieces that you don't love to do, it'll bog you down and mentally it's really tough. But what I'm learning is you can get people who love to do things you don't love to do to do things that you don't love to do. And in turn, kind of support them and help them out make more connections. And so, one of the things right now is I've been writing a lot of content and I'm kind of like burned out on writing. So I've got a project for the website where I need to write the content for the website, but I'm not going to do it. Hopefully not going to do it. I'm going to reach out to somebody who's a writer and maybe they'll be able to do it. Anyway, it's kind of win-win because I know they've recently gone out on their own. Hopefully they're free and hopefully they can help me. But anyway, that's like kind of knowing your strengths a little bit will help you in business. I can go and find more work. So if I can find more work and then do the parts that I love and get other people to do the parts that I don't love, it's kind of like a win for everybody. So this is the drone that I want to get. But originally it was supposed to be out late October and now the ship date is the end of November. This is a giant problem because our family's headed to Hawaii in the middle of November and I sold my drone thinking I could just get this one before we go, but can't. I don't know what to do now. Might have to go droneless, which is really disappointing. I probably wouldn't have taken my Phantom anyway though because the drone was too big to pack, but dang. what I love, 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 love about the internet. Ready? That drone I was just talking about getting, the reviewer says it's unquestionably terrible. Now, I need to check out some other reviews, but in the past, the power was all in the marketer's hands. If they did a good job marketing something, people would buy it. And then only afterwards would they find out that it's actually junk or garbage or not what they thought that it was. Now this is just one reviewer's opinion, but by taking a few of these reviews together, it could save me like a, almost a couple thousand dollars on something that I'm not happy with in the end that maybe I could return it, maybe I couldn't, or I would have wasted my time with it or not pick the right product for myself. And so I love being involved in marketing in this day and age because Ultimately, first and foremost, you need to have an amazing product. If you do that, then it'll kind of market itself for you, or it's really easy to market those kinds of things. But people with junky products, they just don't make it anymore. Like you go on Amazon and you look, you're not buying a product that has one and a half or two stars. Like the power is in consumers' hands. And I think that's exactly where it needs to be. So, maybe a blessing in disguise that I couldn't order this drone. I gotta do a little more research, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it. Hmm, now I gotta spend more money on something else, but money well spent. To be clear though, the drone that I would buy isn't out either. It's the other drone in this review. So, I still don't think there'll be a drone for everyone. Peace out. What are these guys up to? They got a bigger camera than me. We'll never know. I guess, unless we watch the news. So, we'll never know.